New tonight, the inflation crisis is taking a toll on families trying to pay for their kids' lunches. And that's what one West Jordan Elementary School is seeing. And that's why the principal is so thankful for a generous donor. New specialist Dan Rascone has the story and joins us live. Dan, this is huge for an entire school. Yeah, it really is huge here, Dini. You know, it's amazing how quickly lunch tech can be racked up in a very short amount of time. Lunch cost here is $1.75. You know, that doesn't seem like a lot of money, but you add a couple of siblings and a family could be looking at $5 or more for lunch. Well, that's money many families here cannot afford. Lunchtime at Westvale Elementary School in West Jordan. A chance to refuel the body and mind. Hi, Evie. But amazingly, every single day in this lunchroom, there are dozens of students whose families can't afford to buy them lunch. And these are families who don't qualify for free or reduced lunch. It's heartbreaking. That's it, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Odette Damaris is a school principal. I would never be able to handle the idea of students not eating. That's a really tough idea. So no student is turned away. The cost for the meal is put on credit. But within days, that $1.75 multiplies and begins to add up into the hundreds of dollars. The biggest thing that I wanted to do was to give back. That's why Tua, Ke Aloha, and his friends have come here to visit. You guys got to be good and listen to your teachers. Tua, who runs his own private security business, is here to pay off that lunch deficit that's racked up in the last two months. And I just wanted to be an example. As a result, he's donating $600. It absolutely melts my heart. It truly does to know that there are people in the community that are willing to help kids out. But this isn't the first school Tua has donated to. You guys are special. This is his fifth school. He's paying off the lunch deficit in the last six weeks. I just started making phone calls and just, you know, seeing if we can just pay off debt. So I chose neighborhoods. Fortunately, this week, his generosity led him to Westvale Elementary School. And this is not his last stop. I believe all kids should eat free, you know, but that's not the case, right? So that's why we're raising money, just to you know, help ease the pain, especially for the holidays. The school district reminding families out there who may qualify for that free or reduced lunch to make sure they fill out the application. But again, we're talking about families here who don't qualify for that, but still can't afford that daily lunch. Deanie, back to you. Such a welcome gesture. Dan, yeah. thanks.